Thank you, uh, Shihab. And we keep going to uh, Gabe with Oncast. Hey, good morning. Hopefully you can all see and hear me all right. Uh, I'm Gabe Kangas here from San Francisco. I'm the maintainer and lead developer of Owncast, which is the free and open source live video streaming and chat server with uh, Fediverse functionality. And today I'm going to show you um, how quick and easy it is to get up and running and, and show off some of the uh, the Fediverse features and, and configuration options of, of Owncast. So let's uh, let's get rolling here. Let's see. Share. Cool. Uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, the Owncast website. So, like anybody else, you would just go to get started. Um, in this case, we're going to install Owncast. Uh, there's a little installer script. Um, like any kind of uh, pipe to bash, read your shell scripts before running them because uh, because you don't know me. Um, I'm going to run it here on a brand new machine that uh, just provisioned before this demo. So. Um, a couple of disclaimers, I provision this machine, I set up DNS because other things that take time and we don't have that time in the demo. So we'll just we'll run that script. Off it goes. Um, so now we have Owncast. Uh, now Owncast is up and running. So that, that is the, the install process. So we can uh, kind of move on from there. Um, I set up this instance. Um, let me throw this URL in the chat. Um, one moment of uh, this right here. So we can actually this will be an interactive uh, interactive demo. Let's all let's all go to this new server that was just uh, just provisioned. So nothing is going on, obviously, but it's it's up and running. Um, let's go ahead over to OBS. So OBS, obviously, um, really popular piece of software for live streaming. Um, I, I set up a little little fake little scene here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our stream settings to OBS. Um, you change it to custom. And here you would get uh, values from the uh, the owncast admin. So slash admin. Um, technically, you could you could go here right now if you wanted to. Um, there is a, a password uh, ABC one two three. The username is admin. If you want to just check it out right now, um, we will copy and paste this uh, URL into OBS with the stream key. And let's uh, let's start streaming. So if you are hanging out on uh, the uh, fetaforum.beststreamingclub.com right now, the, uh, the live stream will be going, uh, going live here momentarily, and uh, you'll be watching this, uh, this scene. So what, in just, just a couple minutes here, we went from installing Owncast to actually live streaming from my machine using OBS, um, and we're watching the uh, award-winning Big Buck Bunny. So um, that's not what you came here to see, though. This is a uh, Fediverse conference. So we will go down to the social features and um, set those up. So uh, Fediverse functionality in Owncast is disabled by default because um, this is your server. It is private. And if you don't want it to be spewing information about when you go live and um, what you're doing on your server to the world, that that is totally your call. So you you enable that. So we'll throw in the name of this uh, the server here. We will enable social features, and it'll give you some disclaimers about what the Fediverse is, what it does, some links so you can learn more. Um, I, I really take take um, advocacy strongly with Owncast. You know, people might be seeing the Fediverse for the first time, that terminology for the first time. And I want to say, you know, this is some cool stuff. Owncast is a part of the Fediverse. Um, you can just flip the switch. Um, but I also understand it's, it's not for everybody. So with that being said, uh, we just turned that on. If you were to refresh that uh, fediforum.beststreamingclub.com, there's now a follow button that wasn't there before. So if you're on this page right now, go ahead and press follow and you'll get something that looks somewhat familiar to you know follow modals on uh, other platforms where you put in your fediverse instance and um 
it will put you through the the follow flow. Um, so I am. I should have logged into my Fediverse account beforehand, but uh, do that. Oh, Firefox does not want to open a pop-up window. Well, other people are following. So um, you can see here in the chat of Owncast that um, the outside world is now coming in. So all that positivity from the Fediverse saying people are following, um, people are sharing, people are liking that you went live. Now, just because you flipped that switch um, starts to come in, which is a uh, is very cool you know all these people who are following will get notified every time you go live um you get it you get a list of followers in here um yes yeah so um we can get a uh, you need to troubleshoot what actions are coming in you have this whole new section um of the admin uh, immediately when turning on the the Fediverse functionality. So um, since I have this opportunity, I want to give you a, a couple other a couple other things that Owncast uh, can do that is uh, really easy to set up. Um, out of the box, you get um, essentially one transcoded output um, saying this is the quality that that we're sending your viewers, but really you want um, you know, maybe a high one and a low one. So this is how easy to add, you know, uh, just uh, add a uh, 4,000 uh, kbps uh, output. And now there's two output qualities. So that's um, how easy it is to uh, customize your, your video output. Um, people wonder, oh, is my hardware good enough for, for owncast? You can, you can monitor it. Um, make sure that, that your CPU is happy and, and you're not dropping any frames. Um, you get this stream health to see, you know, how people are, are consuming your video and, and how your latency is doing. So, um, in a nutshell, this, this is owncast. Um, it is far easier, more affordable and straightforward for you to control your, your live video streaming than you think is possible. You know, Amazon and Facebook and 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 all, all the uh, the big tech will tell you that only they can do it, but um, it's super easy. In in minutes here, we have a live video stream on the Fediverse with chat, and people can interact, and you can customize it and upload your logo and and put in Markdown here. So, um, the the world is your oyster. Uh, build something cool with owncast, run your own live stream, whether it's Twitch style or, you know, a, a live 24 seven TV stream. Um, there's a bunch of, so that's, uh, yeah, we've yeah. been asked to actually uh, stream Fetty forum, uh, with owncast this time around, we didn't really manage to do this. Um, but there's perhaps something we can do in the future, just in case you had questions. It seems like, um, Yes, we will do that Fetty Forum thing again. Um, perhaps online, perhaps in person, that's not quite clear yet. And mm -hmm. unconferences do not necessarily lend themselves so directly to, to streaming because you want precipitation. But for example, these demos we could have streamed. Um, but maybe next time. So, Gabe, yeah. uh, thank you very much for your excellent demo. <clears throat> yeah, 